Good morning, my beautiful followers. How's everyone doing today? So, today I was sitting and I actually was scrolling through Facebook. I don't spend a ton of time just like straight up scrolling through Facebook, but today I was just doing a little bit of Facebook scroll. And I came up across a video and I stopped and watched this video. It's one of those inspirational videos that I know that we've all seen. We've all seen this video. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my water water yeah uh and so i was watching this inspirational video and it really got me thinking it just really stirred me and actually stirred my heart a little bit as i was watching it. and i will put the link um down below later once once i finish this video um but it was about this this gentleman who at one point in his life asked his aunt why she had all these beautiful things in our home and he wasn't making a lot of money like his his or his family didn't make a lot of money he was a child at the time and he asked his aunt when do you use any of this stuff when do you use it and she said for spe at special occasions i use it on special occasions and then he went on to tell in the story how a week later she was dead a week later his aunt that he loved so much and had all these beautiful objects died and left all these beautiful objects that had never been used never been used and i had a grandmother who went through the war and actually had had two grand grandparents that went through a war and so this is i've actually seen this in my own family friends this lack of of using even myself like there's things i'll be like oh no i'm gonna save that for a special occasion and so it just got me thinking about actually even those moments those moments we like to look at even our little moments and go that doesn't matter that little moment oh that doesn't matter that doesn't matter it's just right now it's just a bad day it's just blah 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 i will it will be better tomorrow i will make a better day tomorrow I will use that that thing, that object, that dress, those awesome freaking pair of shoes. I'll use it tomorrow. I'll use it tomorrow. I'm gonna wait for the right moment. I know so many people, so many women who will buy particularly, we like to buy clothes and we're like, when I get feeling good in my body, and guess what? It never happens. And then we're 20 years down the road and we still have that object and we're like, I wish I had worn it. I wish I had worn it. I wish I had used it. But we do this in our memories, our moments. Once we we have a moment, it's gone forever. It is gone. Like it will never be the same. And so we like to look at this tomorrow. I'll do it next year, next moment, next, 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 next. When it's important. When it when 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 when. Instead of doing now, instead of being present in the now. And I was thinking, because the other day, I, I think I did either a video or an article. I can't keep track. On, um, it was an article. It was an article about, you know, you're going to miss this, basically. I was walking, for, I was parking my car, and I was actually walking over to my friend's house and I sat there knowing that she is moving and I was like I had a moment going these are our final moments in this house these are our final moments hanging out at this location and I had this moment of just like blessing and joy come over me for all the good moments that uh, I've experienced with my friend at her house at, at in her backyard all of this and then I also had these this moment of going, I need to cherish the next few days in this home, every moment I can get. And that's because something's coming to an end where when we go, when we come to the end of something, we oftentimes will get into that space. However, are you living your life like that? Because once a moment's gone, it will be gone. It's poof, poof, gone, never coming back. That moment is never coming back and so are you really appreciating your moments are you appreciating the things in your life are you waiting for a sunny day are you waiting 
for your life to look one way or the other? Or are you fucking stepping in and going, no, no, today's a good day to wear that, those shoes that I absolutely love. Okay, if they get worn out, I use them. They were loved. They were, I used them. I really got the joy and the emotion that I'm looking to get out of this object. I'm getting it. I'm getting what I wanted to get out of it. Or are you putting something in a closet and going, yeah, one day, one day, one day, one day. Are you looking at your relationships and going, oh no, but we'll, we'll connect tomorrow. No, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll one, one day, one day. Are you taking those little moments that somebody offers to do something for you and, and give you something? Are you taking those moments when maybe somebody opens their heart to you a little bit? which is also a giving, which is also a giving. Are you taking those moments and, and just brushing them aside or are you getting really present and going, this is a moment. This is a moment to be present in and to cherish and to really acknowledge that this is my life. This moment is not coming back. We are never guaranteed tomorrow. So are you living today? Are you living today? Or are you putting your life on a shelf, just like that pair of shoes, that those jeans, that awesome hat that you love and makes you feel good? Are you putting everything on a shelf and going one day, one day? Or are you living it in the moment? Are you using it? Are you stepping in? Are you getting into the emotion? Because it's not about the physical thing. Guess what? Your The car that you've got in the garage that you take out once or twice a year, guess what? That car is not about the thing. It's about the emotion, the feeling, the vibration that that thing brings you. So if you're not interacting with it, you're cutting off your own joy, your own experiences. So whether it be physical objects or the people in your life and the moments you're having, are you really getting present with them? And no one is 100% present all the time. So I love people who are like, I'm very present. I'm like, yeah, cool, that's awesome. You're very present. But can you get a little bit more present? Can you get a little bit more present? None of us are 100% present all the time. So my challenge to you today, me and my crazy hair that I've got going on, my challenge is for you to get a little bit more present in just one moment in your day today. A little bit more present. Put a little extra oomph in there. Because guess what? That moment, those people will never be, be there tomorrow. They will be different people. It will be a different moment. It will be different energy. Our world is constantly changing. We are constantly changing. So do not look at your moments and waste them waste them. Do not take them for granted. Do not take the love and the people in your life for granted because they can be gone tomorrow. And guess what? All those things that you're collecting, use them. Use them. Live your life. Live your life fully. So that's basically my message today. Live your life fully. And I am going to put the, the link to that video because it just was like a heartwarming warming moment today when I watched that video I'm like yeah he's right he's right he's right I have a pair of shoes and I've been like yeah when the moment's right I'm gonna wear them guess what probably won't wear them today just because I don't I'm not in a heels mood today but I'm gonna get those those puppies out of the closet this week I'm gonna get them out of the closet I'm gonna wear them so I want you to look at the things that you're not really engaging with the presence level that you've got going on in your world and take have gratitude take those moments take those moments and really soak them in instead of taking them for granted so all right guys i am gonna let you go again as always if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, whether in person or online then head over to addisonbill.net and and fill out my application to work with me um all about the embodiment and the empowerment lately so I have a brand new women's uh, in-person um, event actually coming up. And then I also have a new program for women specifically for energy work. So head over to addisonbell.net and you can check all of that out. Other than that, go grab that fire within and I will see you lovely people tomorrow.
Bye, guys.